Good evening, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It was a very hot and humid day out there once again across the state of Maryland. As we take a look at your headlines, we are dealing with shower and thunderstorm chances uh, throughout the evening hours, and even some shower and storms could linger as we head overnight into your Thursday morning. But we also have flash flood watches that are in effect up until around 11 o'clock tonight. But the good news, we do have some relief in the temperature department we are going to be cooling things down a little bit as we head uh, into the next few days. But as we take a look at our alerts across Maryland, we have multiple flash flood watches for the entire viewing area. And we also have some flood warnings that are currently underway, especially for areas along the eastern shore uh, that will expire later on this evening. But we are under a marginal risk for the majority of our area. That is a level one out of five. Any shower or storm that we see today will be very sparse and very isolated in nature. The biggest threats that we can expect will be strong wind gusts within some of the stronger storms. And of course, some locally heavy rainfall, which could lead to some localized flash flooding, which I know a lot of areas along the eastern shore, even around Cecil County, are already dealing with. Uh, as we head into around 9 to 10 o'clock tonight, that chance for showers and storms will start to wind down. I wouldn't be surprised if we dealt with a shower storm as we head overnight uh, near the Mason-Dixon line, especially across western Maryland. Uh, into tomorrow morning, early in the day, we are going to be mainly dry. However, around midday and beyond, that's when we get back into the thunderstorm, even the shower chances, especially across the Inner Harbor, up towards Parkton and over by Chestertown. But then that showery activity starts to wind down as we head into your Friday morning before another round is set to arrive as we head into Friday afternoon. Here's a quick peek at future rainfall amounts. This is taking you through 5 o'clock in the evening tomorrow. Uh, anywhere from an inch upwards of two, maybe localized amounts of three inches are possible up towards Parkton near the Mason-Dixon line, out towards Thermont. One and a half inches of rain certainly possible with lesser amounts farther south. Uh, so if you are heading out and about, if you have any evening plans, you want to make sure you're bringing the rain gear, but also drive carefully. You never want to drive in flooded roadways. We all know that saying, turn around, don't drown, but we are going to be dealing with shower and thunderstorm chances, especially around midday tomorrow, daytime highs tomorrow afternoon, uh, only make it up into the upper 70s and the lower 80s. So we are going to be uh, slightly below normal for this time of year for a few spots, especially for areas across western Maryland. Into the next couple of days, we are going to decrease our, decrease our dew point values uh, into the upper 60s and the lower 70s. So overall, it's going to be feeling more comfortable as we head into the upcoming weekend. We are looking mainly dry for your Saturday uh, with highs around 83 degrees, 83 degrees for Sunday as well. But shower and thunderstorms will be mainly focused farther south of the Baltimore metro. And then we have that chance for a few stray showers on Monday, even throughout Tuesday and Wednesday with highs getting back near average in the mid 80s. Stick with us online at WMAR news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news also for news and weather while you're on the go download the wmar2 news app in the app store you can watch live radar and get breaking news sent straight to your phone thanks so much for watching i'm stevie daniels this wmar2 news update is sponsored by jones junction 